Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Welcome back to Car Wax. Jump back to uh, our next up to bat. Uh, was somebody I threw out to you, and I kind of ran into it because I was going through a couple of new artists, and I was like, yeah, let me see a couple of new, new artists that I've never really heard of that's actually releasing during the week. Right. And then I found this kid um, because I think his previous name was Baby Jesus. And yes, sir. And he changed his name to Da Baby, which is his release album, not release album, but his current album, Baby on Baby. I'm going baby on baby. I'm going baby on baby. Going baby. <laughs> so, yeah. So, no. So I shot this one to you, and you was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, you need to hear this." So, uh, start us off with this man because um, I got my take. But when I threw it to you, you you seemed a little cautious, and you said there there was a lot of um, talk up on this guy. But um, what's your take on the baby? Yeah, so I did I did peep game when it came out. Um, I did repost it on my on my page, uh, Bougie Brother Sean, and I skipped it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And the reason why I skipped it, it was because uh, three legends came out. You know, three three all stars came out, and that was the Two Chains album came out, T Pain mm-hmm. came out, and the Solange surprise drop came out. Right. So, and the only reason I heard of the baby was because during the All Star weekend, he from North Carolina. During yep. the All Star weekend, he, he was out it. there, and he had took a picture with J Cole or whatnot during that whole session. So, I was like, okay, the baby. That was like when I heard his name, I was like, all right, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. So when I seen the the album come out, I was just like, all right, cool. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I get around to it and I feel like it, I'll listen to it. So when you sent it to me, I was like, you listen to this? <laughs> but that's how I felt. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't show you this. You you went to go, you dug into the crate and you picked this out yourself? You know, that, that blew my mind. So I was like, all right, well, how did it sound? You know what I'm saying? You like, hey, Check it out. So I popped it in, and immediately you hear him going like bars. Yep. You know, immediately you hear him like like rapping. Like he he has a clever flow. You know, he he's very he's very uh, aggressive with his approach, but he got a good flow. Right. You know what I'm saying? He got the good flow, but it's very structured. Last time I said that was with Rap City. Right, right. Very, right. very structured flow. And, and Rap Carolina City from too, North right? Carolina, too. Mm-hmm. Speaking of. So, yeah, that's a cool thing. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, he you can tell he raps because how fast he flows. He flows so fast that, you know, he, he memorizes it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and he just gets in there and he just goes. So that was the first thing that caught my mind, caught me. But it went so fast the first time I was listening to it that it, I was just like, oh, okay, it's done. Okay, it's over. Like it didn't hold enough weight for me the first time I listened to it. So I was just like, okay, the baby's cool. And then I heard somebody else talk about it, and I was just like, and then I seen his interview on on Breakfast Club. Okay. And and he's just a regular old dude, man. Regular old dude who loves his kids, man. And, and people always people just been running up on him, like. And, and he got cases of him. You know? Oh he, yeah, he got some bodies. <laughs> yeah, he got a couple bodies. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he kind of spoke on on the bodies that he had because you know he, he was okay. but all of them seemed to be in defense. <laughs> yeah, no, like, they rolling up like, on him. You, you real comfortable talking about it. So I was just like, okay, let me listen to him a little bit more. And then when you listen, and I listen to it again, and I'm just like, well, he's not really trying nobody. He's just like, dude, don't fuck with me. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's really, he's really just the don't fuck with me type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. let me just rap, make my money, bro. You know, and I kind of got that off of him with his music. And which made him, which made me kind of listen to him more 
And then, which made me realize that one of my favorite tracks was uh, Carpet Burns. Carpet Burns. Mm. Yeah. Because I was listening to him, and I was just like, oh, all right, all right, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. He talks to the women very smooth. You know what I'm saying? It don't sound like he got that, you know, like, he know what he doing. That nigga know what he doing, man. So... The, the more I listened to it, the more I, I was able to lyric, hear his lyrics and hear how he was able to flow and approach on the beat. Um, but also to your point, he, just like Juice World, production is very amateur. Like, mm -hmm. yes. he needs to spend some money on some beats. If he can spend some money on some beats, he don't even need a Metro beat. But if he can get like, he can get like some Gunna beats. Yep. yep. You know, some he, uniqueness. He'd be great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to totally agree with that. But he held his own because of his lyrical ways. Man, that track with Offset. Yeah. Oh, they both sounded great together. I know. I know. And, off, and you know me, I'm, I mean, Offset, he's cool. But, with, but they roll so well together. That was the babysitter. I love that. Yeah, I fuck around and fuck the babysitter. And I was like, yes, this dude. And then Offset cleaned it up on the back end. I was like, damn, I like this. I like and everyone who was on his, he played so well with them. Yeah, yeah, he so he definitely held his own, and it was, it, yeah, it, it complimented. It was like, it was like, it was like he knew it was a feature, so he wasn't trying to disrespect them, but he also knew that he had to stand his own. You so, know what I'm saying? So let so, me ask you then: Did did it sound like they were there, or where he did his? And they came with theirs, and he cleaned it up after that. Ah, uh, because this sounded a little more me, natural to me. Yeah, they 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 sounded a little more real time. A right. lot of these verses sounded real time. Like, uh, you know what? You know what? No, it okay. sounded like okay. these were add-ins. Okay, it sounded like these were add-ins because now I'm 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 thinking about the way he was spitting on these songs, and it was like. It wasn't like he was bouncing off of it. It was like he was trying to prove more or less. Not necessarily prove himself, but mm -hmm. show that he can stand his own ground. Like, yeah, this is the feature, but check this out. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? Or before the feature come on, check this out. Or not, 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 oh yeah, his was five, but mine's is five too. He ain't, it wasn't like that. It was like, I'm fine. The first ver first song. Taking it like, out. Dude, dude, I'm the best rapper in the game. Yep. So that lets you know his mindset. And mm -hmm. and I'm not going to say he's the best rapper, but he showed has that charisma. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. He, he, he got it. He got it. And he know he has it. So when he flows, it comes off so sweet and believable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not like he he doesn't feel like he's competing against the next person. He feels like he's doing them a favor, <laughs> so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, offset on this. What? Well, check check this out, then. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you're not gonna you're not gonna outdo me on on my own shit. You know. So right. I like I like that. I like that about him. I liked his verses. I liked I liked everything, but. The beats. I thought the beats were definitely forgettable, but his he's so good that I I wanted to listen to him again. I wanted to mm -hmm. listen to him. Right, right. You know, so I, I think I think a little bit more money towards the produce, production side will definitely help the baby. So, but this album was 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 cool. This album was cool. Right. So do you think Dreamville would have would have uh, at least produced his album better. May not have been the best beat, but production wise, they would have structured him a little better. Uh, Dreamville? Mm hmm. Ooh, Dreamville based ain't on the best. Their but... artists right. in the record label? No. Okay. okay. The best beat that they had that then came out of Dreamville is the Middle Child beat. 
<laughs> like, I'm I'm going back to the JID album straight. Man, the JID album, the first one was hot. Now the first one was good, but yeah. that's what two but it years wasn't, ago. Yeah, but it wasn't promoted either, so it was hard to, for people even to recognize how good it was. Yeah, man, and and I'm not putting the baby on none of them beats. Damn. All right. Okay. I got Hell you. Nah. I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely asking, not dude. putting the baby on none of J Cole beats. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The middle child beat would have probably been the best beat for the baby. The baby don't okay. need them beats. Nah, man. Nah, the Dream- Dreamville can't do nothing with the baby. I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm they- saying that because of close proximity. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, Jam Law, um, my man Ninth Wonder and Rhapsody could do better with, with the baby. Yeah, yeah. Ninth Wonder like, can do some things. Yeah. Hell yeah, if you'll give him a crazy sample. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Knife Wonders, yeah. Ooh, okay. I got you. So, I jumped into this, and like to your point, I cut it on, and there wasn't no music. This dude fucking jumped right in. He didn't, it wasn't no intro. It was, bam, I'm, I'm thinking about taking it out. And bam, bam, bam. And he didn't even <laughs> fucking, he didn't, no intro, no nothing. And there's a couple of songs that all he does is jump right into the to the song. Yeah. Jump right into the and I love throughout this thing, he was aggressive in everything that he did. And I was like, damn, this dude is hard. God damn, he come, he come, he come. And you know, you know, we we talked about that, that the the going baby. Yeah. So it made me kinda and oh, Lord, what do you think? Is he is he one. you think he talking about little baby? No, no, no. I, um, he he talked about that during his Breakfast Club interview. Okay. He, he's been the baby. Uh, he's just yeah. It was it was just it was just him talking. I think it was just him talking. Really? But yeah, but I definitely don't think it's about nobody. It's too early in the game for him to be taking shots like that. And I think he's way smarter than that. I just think he's aggressive like that to just throw it out there. Because he's baby. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm just going baby on baby. The only other baby you know really that's hiding out is Lil Baby. It's Lil Baby, right, mm-hmm. right, right. So, so yeah, I, I, maybe <laughs> it's friendly competition. Um. But I, I I don't think he out there head hunting right now, man. QC is way too big. He's only in in North Carolina. He mm-hmm. right up the street. They will come at his head. He's not invincible. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think he knows all of this, and I think he's still just early in the game, man. I, okay. I, so so, so I, I, I just I thought that was interesting. I don't think he's on no 50, 50 stuff. Yeah. I don't think he's on no the game stuff. Nothing like that. I, mm-hmm. I just I just think he's very confident in his flow. Yep. I think he's confident in a lot of shit. And, you know, the, the fake beats with the little flutes and shit, you know, he, he did that on Pony, too. And uh, mm-hmm. I thought it was, it, was, it was like, I'll deal with it because I like how this guy is actually fucking um, rapping. Not because I like the beat. It right. was him. And to your point, every time I was like, you know, he's like, be the goddamn Pony. <laughs> And I love that. But it was him. It wasn't the beat again. But you said like carpet burns. I really like that one. But well, another no, one of no, my no, favorite. Going back to that pony one. You know what? who that sound like? You know who floated he that was? T.I. That was young Dro flow. That was young Dro flow. That oh, Long Dro, flow. yeah. So he yeah. has a he has a sound like T.I. to me in, in certain ones too. Okay. And I, and I was kinda like, man, is he trying to cop? And then I was like, no, no, not really. It's just that's his voice, mm-hmm. so it it, it kind of gives you some similarities in that way. But he he be rapping, this nigga be rapping, yeah, yeah, and, rapping ass baby. Yep. But babysitter, that shit was just so good, man. And and when he was saying, yeah, your kid's a bastard, and then he stopped and said, damn, man, why you laughing? Man, yeah, to bring he up said, the why kid, you laughing? Bro. He was why like, man, why you bringing up the baby? <laughs> you taking with his kid? <laughs> But then he went right back in it. It was yep. He did. He does such good ways how he rolls with his songs, and I like the joggers too. 
you know. Yeah, yeah, that was a good. One. So what do you think about the, the other cat on the back end, the Stunner for Vegas? Because he was like a rapid fire right behind him. It's like they yeah, was in a yeah. car fucking riding, dude. The, the, all the features were good. Yeah. Like, I, I, dude, he can rap, man. I'm, mm-hmm. Like I said again, I, I would probably keep him in rotation in the beat format. Yeah. So it's you in know? mind. It's but the fact that the beats were kind of dry, it, they dried out on me. Like, right. like during during Joggers, Carpet Burn, Best Friend, Tupac, mm-hmm. it dried, the beats dried out on me, man. <laughs> yeah, so it kind of died, didn't it? Right, right, because because back in and and uh, Walker Walker Texas Rangers were good tracks. Mm-hmm. They were really good tracks, but it was like uh, I had to kind of fight through it just to get there. Yeah, there was you like know, some so, old Garage Band beats and type shit, man. Yeah, was, man, like straight Fruity Loop beats, man. So I, I believe that this hopefully this should have helped them get on the map a little more. Maybe he can get a. Uh, maybe he can come to Atlanta, man, to spend a little money on some beats, man. Because, uh or or get some features to get get cheaper beats. Yeah, like show come up on Atlanta. somebody's yeah, shit man. that has a yeah. fire beat, and show them, hey, li- this is how I roll on a beat. Right. This is the way I roll, because I think Walker Texas Ranger. That's a video, so he has that. I think that's one of his new videos that he has out. Yeah, so, he got a video on Suge too. I seen that one. Oh, I, like I didn't see it. the Suge one. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, man. That that was cool. Yeah. Uh that was the only video I've seen from him. But yes. I seen the I seen the interview first and he explained that he been on the silly shit. Yeah. Like yeah. like the funny, the funny all that, you know what I'm saying? The humor. He been on it. You know, this ain't nothing new for him. Like everybody remembers him when he first came out. Mm-hmm. Well, everybody remembers him when he was out here with a diaper. Yeah, <laughs> they said he had a depend. He said what he is said, South and Southwest a diaper on, and I was yep I, at South by Southwest. Everybody said the same thing. I was like, it was like I've been fucking with him since that. Been mm-hmm. fucking with him. I knew him since then. I was just like, oh okay. And he was like, I've been on that silly shit. It's just like everybody think I'm I'm I'm. It's a gimmick, but it's not. It's just you know I like having fun, man. Yeah. That's how I, you know make my bread. And he, I was like, and he being okay. silly. But he, but that's him. But he's not to be fucked with. But he's not to be <laughs> fucked with. So that, you know that's the good thing. That, yeah, I could be on the, some silly shit. That's the great part, right? Mm-hmm. That's the great part. You know, I I appreciate the fact that you know he he did the pass down from. No, he probably didn't get it passed down from Red Man, but he definitely got it passed down from Ludacris. Yeah, like that. The humor in the in the videos. I don't know how old the baby is, so I I can't say Busta Rhymes. I can't say Red Man, but I can say Ludacris. Yeah, yeah. You know, I definitely seen all Ludacris when I seen that videos. You know, so I, I appreciate him kind of, you know, doing his South thing. Mm-hmm. You know, he he's really representing the South thing, and he's not getting the super love because because Atlanta's down the street. Right, exactly. Yeah, and he's not, and he's not in Atlanta repping South Carolina. Mm-hmm. He's in Carolina repping Carolina. Yep. yep. You know, and everybody's like, "All right, well, when we get to Carolina, we'll get to it." He's <laughs> we'll like, stop nah, by. Nah, y'all going y'all gonna pay attention. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna pay attention. Yeah, but so, I, 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 this guy, he's clever. Mm-hmm. Great voice, great flow. Um, I enjoyed the hell out of this. I really enjoyed it, and I, I really wanted you to hear it. Because we, we hear so much Atlanta stuff. And when I I kind of thought he was from Atlanta. And then I started reading. I was like, yo, this dude from, from Charlotte. And then he starts saying it in his rap. And I was like, oh, okay. He want to make sure people know, no, I'm not from that mm-hmm. Atlanta shit. I'm from up the way in Charlotte. And I was like, oh. But uh, he, he he does need a feature. He did a great feature with Quavo. I mean, with, uh, with Offset. Really good. Now he needs maybe a Metro booming fucking beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He needs to start getting some production so they can highlight him and or balance him. And they be like, damn, that he just fucking murdered it on that beat because he's murdering everything on it. But you you losing it to your point. You losing it because the production is just yeah, it's like easy. Yeah. you. It's, it's just, like it's like you playing against eighth graders. 
Yeah, yeah. it's not even fun. And you fucking yeah. dunking on them. And you're like, dude, man, do you really got to dunk on the eighth? They playing? Right. Are they playing? Right. You're like, damn, dude. I hear <laughs> but you. you looking at it like, oh, yeah. why you doing that, dog? <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, he, he all right. But it's like, well, you know. You yeah, don't like, goddamn, dude. Yeah. So, so it's like, all right, well, yeah, well, wait, wait, wait till he play again. So. I, I do feel you. I, I totally agree with that, man. I mean, it sucks because this is going to get buried. It is. It is. But I, 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 wanted, I wanted to bring it to the surface quickly because I didn't want to lose it because mm-hmm. listening to some, you know, some other stuff that's out that really wasn't lyrically sound, I right. was kind of like, I like this guy. And if if he turn around and we talk about lyrically how somebody actually is, we may be able to pull him back toward a war time. You know what I mean? Okay. Because lyrically, I think he does such clever shit, dude. In his, the way he rhymes and raps about certain things, um, a little vivid at times and and playful in other times. And, mm-hmm. and and I just like this. That's why you know. Again, I enjoyed the shit out of this. So. My rating on this is is an eight five, because I'm Ooh. I'm playing this. I'm playing it. I would have dropped it lower because of the production, but I'm still playing it. <laughs> so, and off the strength of this guy being that good for me, I I got it kind of high. Wow, eight five. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I even popped it back in today, and I was like, "Yeah, it's not that bad." <laughs> and then I turned it right back off. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. <sighs> so what did you put on? What you put on, dude? Who? What did I put on after that? Yeah. So I, I've been in my little New York bag. Uh-oh, okay. Uh okay. But but outside of that, I'm not even gonna tell you those people I've been I've been listening to uh yet. Okay. But okay. um I've been heavy on that Solange, man. Yes, I have. I've been real heavy on that Solange, dog. And it's scary because I'm not seeing the same response from anybody else. I know. <laughs> Cause I'll be you and and so and and we'll we'll do the review on it, but I'm playing it for other people, dude. I'm not yeah. just playing it for me. I'm playing it for other people to say, this is Solange. Did you hear this? No. Nah, check this out. And I'm not getting the, wow. I'm right, getting the, oh, right. that's, that's, what the fuck is this? This is okay. okay. No, listen to this one. You know? They don't hear it, man. They don't, they don't hear they don't. it, Doug. That's, that's my constant. <laughs> And I'm I'm being honest. That's my constant. If there's yeah. anything I could put on rap, I'll put a little jazz, I'll put on um um dance, um shit, instrumental, but she always comes back. And I play yep. the whole thing. Yep. I don't play cuts. I play the whole thing. And then I move on. Sadly. Anyway, we really got off. Anyway. Yeah, so so but yeah, I Right now, dude, this first quarter is dry. This this first quarter is so dry, and it's actually more disappointing than anything. Um, because for me, the hottest three albums are three that I didn't even expect to even come out, you know, and one of them is offset of mm-hmm. the quarter. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So but but uh, overall of this the baby album, um Man, I'm just gonna have to give this an even seven, man. Well, I, I got you, I got you, and 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 again, I'm on a high side because that's what I'm playing. Right, right, right. If I wasn't playing it, I would have had it at a low seven, mid sevens, because there's something else that I'm listening to rap wise. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying because I'm playing Solange like I was playing. Um, the, that the other rap group last year that I, I just kept playing with them, um, but with rap wise, I think he's 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 aggressive enough that I'm enjoying his his clever flow and and just off the silly shit or some of the shit that he's doing and he's aggressive, so it, it's just a it's a, it's a bump, but it's the, the fucking production is just 
you're just gonna have to deal with it in order to go from that. So right. even though I said an eight five, I can easily go straight on an eight or a little lower. But I I'm I'm enjoying putting it back on and on again. So You're you're evolving, man. You're evolving. I remember last year we were talking about the prime and you were saying the total opposite. With who? Well, when we were listening to Prime Two. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 But people show me different and then I have to rethink my mind because that means I didn't really give them the respect. Remember how you told me, hey, look, you need to be listening. Um, pay attention to what they're saying or pay attention with the things that they're doing. You need to listen to it again. So I'm, I'm taking a little more time to listen better and okay. say, wow, okay. But if you really turn me off, like the previous one, did, I'm not fucking <laughs> putting that bitch back on because <laughs> I'm like, I just don't want to. It, it it bothered me to the point. And especially if I really like the artist and you really disappointed me, I'm like, Whew. no, I need to cut you off until you come back. I'm going to welcome the next one, but I, I don't want to hear anything else. I'm sorry. Man, this this might be the most disappointing quarter that we've reviewed. Yeah, so it was kind of odd, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes. And you know what? I, I went back and did a double listen on that gunner. Mm-hmm. Oh man, we 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 did him justice. <laughs> really? We did him justice. Yeah, man. That that playback value on that gunner is mm. so um it's selective. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why I'm laughing. Because when I did, because I was like, oh man, let me put this on. I'm gonna listen to the baby. Oh, let me put gunner. I was like, Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Let me go to the next one. Oh, that's right. the one. That's the one I like. That's what I did. And, that's, I, and then I was like, woo. I did the same thing. Yeah, man. So. I did the same thing. I was like, what were we thinking? Uh, we were jumping all we might, over the place. Right? Right, we, we might need to take our time with the next few Atlanta. Atlanta got their reviews in this motherfucker. I know. Real. Put like a little level in me. Go like, okay, we are not going further than that. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. You know. That's funny. Because I did, dude. I'm telling you. Because I was listening to this and I was like, oh, let me put Gunner in because I love that one song. But let me put yeah. it from the beginning and then I was like, Whoa. right, right, right. Because then you're listening to the baby and you're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Well, I wish the baby had these beats. Yeah, like if he would have rolled on that shit. <laughs> like, God, uh, I would have loved it, right? So anyway, anyway, but uh, yeah, that funny quarter, very funny quarter. You know, even with you know future with his shit, we mm-hmm. turned around. Boogie, I put that on. Did you finally get to see the um his little film? Yeah, I did. I did. And you know what? I for- I forgot about uh Boogie. But that is a nice album. Hmm? That is that is a nice album. I did look at the the visual, and and I told you last year. Mm-hmm. I told you, dog. These yep. visuals are gonna be are are gonna be with one mm-hmm. with the albums. But you're absolutely you know right. Saying? I told you, based on what you told me when I saw that, I was like, this is exactly what Sean was talking about. And this is a perfect complement to that album. Yeah. I, I, I definitely enjoyed the visual. It was cool how they was uh they was on the bed hugging each other and then they started floating up. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, that's slick. Oh, you know, the, so, but remember, you said you saw them on the horses. You realized why they was on the yeah, horses. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I did, but I didn't. It's so. the funeral. It was a procession with the funeral. Right, right, right. Okay, the the guys that was okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah, because if you, you saw them, they went forward. And then it was a blank in between, and then you saw them with the funeral, but they never went. They never showed the horses. But if you if you watched, I think a little later on as they went by, you saw the horses was in front mm-hmm. of the procession. And then I was like, "Oh, this is part of the whole fucking funeral! Wow!" So it was it was visually just so fucking stunning and shit. I was like, "Wow, okay." But yeah, great compliment. But everything yeah, else, man, was like, "Are you kidding me?" What? But yeah, Bo- Boogie was a great album. Um, but again, these these albums were just these aren't the albums that I was expecting to be good coming out of the year. You know what I'm saying? And I expected a couple of more faces. 
at the beginning of this uh, beginning of this year. So, uh, just interesting, man. Yeah, interesting, very, man. Very. A super sleeper that we're gonna talk about too. We'll I, we'll get into that. But okay, cool. But yeah. So <laughs> I got an eight five. Uh, I fucking like it. But uh, you know what? Depending on what else comes out, <laughs> it still may get lost. Because, you know, J. Cole is building up to another blockbuster. And he wants the people to know that you may not give me the award, but you can't deny me ever again. This year, you will not fucking deny me. No, sir. I'm um, the so GOAT, fucker. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, got anything else, dude? Um, yes. One thing. It's been rumored that uh, if you check out a couple interviews with Nipsey, um, Nipsey and Meek Mills are supposedly working on a collaboration together. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty exciting. You've got your slow talk rap and then your loud, <laughs> fast rap, fast you know rap. What I'm saying? your Philly and, and uh, Compton blend together. I think that's going to be a very, very interesting approach and on the on the choice of the uh, choice of the beats and everything. So uh, that's pretty much all I got for this particular shizzle. Yeah, so I, I did hear because I was checking Twitter out and Twitter was saying that Kendrick Lamar uh, kind of disappeared real quick and they said the last time he disappeared he came out with uh, a video and then he released Damn. And so there's some people that I, I didn't mm. get to finish my research, but there's some people that saying, you know, he's he's been out of the limelight for a minute. So what is Kendrick doing? And um, it could have been another reason why he wasn't on the Offset album. But uh, kind of interesting. I, I got something to say about that. Really? I did. I, we already said something about that, but... Yeah, man. Yeah, Kendrick, yeah, yeah. That's true. Kendrick, yes. Kendrick may be an asshole, man, because I don't, I don't feel like he even does features like that. He shows up though. He does show up, but I think he shows up who he want to show up for though. There's a difference between showing up and showing up who you want to be. For. Right. Okay. Okay. I can respect that. Think about it. He was on some features last year. Even some of them, we was like, "Yeah, what the fuck he doing on there?" You know what I mean? Right. Cause yeah. he was on Little Wayne, remember? Yeah, he was on Little Wayne. He murdered that track. Yes, he oh did. Oh my god! He but Little Wayne made him know that uh, this is my track, though. Right, this is my track. So yeah. do what you feel, but, but uh, understand me. I, I made I'm it. I'm Wayne. You can go this hard. That's right. <laughs> you couldn't have went this hard without <laughs> me on this track, my nigga. So uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. But we'll see. I, I'm. I, I really would love to see where he's headed because he can go anywhere right now. I mean, he's already yeah. established he's the man from, you know, now he got another set of Grammys with a soundtrack. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't have to do it with just my shit. I'll, I'll make a soundtrack and we'll win off that motherfucker, off the strength. You know what I mean? So uh, really fucking interesting. But uh, wait and see. But anywho, uh, Car Wax is every Sunday. Every Sunday, we just keep up with it, keep tight, and looking forward to the next couple down the line. But thank you very much, and we'll see you next week on Car Wax. Peace. Peace. Peace.